Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Today I received my Trim Healthy order. Actually it was, I think, Sunday, Saturday, I'm not sure which, but I wanted to share with you my unboxing. I did have to open it earlier and put, because I've got some of the strawberry um, bliss bars and they are phenomenal, but they have to go in the freezer right away. The first time I ordered them, I don't think I had them put the ice with it. I don't know if I did or not, but anyway, when I opened them up, they were molded, they were bad, but they have improved them so much since then. And you know, a lot of times, maybe if I have a meal and are some of you like me, you know, put it in the comments below. Do you really just want a bite of something sweet with every meal? I know I do. I, that's just kind of, if I can have that, then I feel good about things. So, um, or feel more satisfied. So if, um, if you're that way, put it in the comments of what is your go-to? And like, I, I wouldn't eat a whole one of these after a meal, but you know, part third of it, half of it, something like that, or some of the skinny chocolate things like that. But let's, um, let's look and see what else I got in there. Let's see. Let's look in here. They, do, they pack them very nicely. They've got some collagen. We all can use that in so many different ways. I actually came across a recipe to make um, some collagen crackers that I'm going to try to do a video about. And then this is one of my new favorite things here, the um, Creamy Dreamy Plant Protein. On it, in the website, they have a um, recipe for um, peach oatmeal. And in the oatmeal, um, it reminds me, Have did you ever used to eat when you were growing up those packets of oatmeal that are like peaches and cream? Now, it's not exactly like that, but what I like to do is I got some of the Laura Ann's, um, the peach flavoring, and I put it in there with it, and I'll tell you, it's a reasonable facsimile to that. Plus, it has your um, psyllium husk in it for a lot of fiber. Um, my grandsons are coming down this weekend, or later this week for fall break, and we're going to try to do a video with that because they want to be in one. Got some more stevia. I noticed that the new cookbook uses this a lot in there. Okay, we have, as in most of our videos, here's Matilda. She's going to get in the box and see what's going on. Um, we have this box here that they taped up. I'm going to hang on. I'm going to have to get something to open it with. some things this time that would be things to help me because I know if everybody else is having chips and crackers and things like that then I really want something that I can have as well and so like the collagen crackers I'm going to try to make those and then in this box I believe I tried the new these are the shameless crackers the easy cheese and usually you can eat, there's three servings in a container if you eat about three servings you know, divide it in thirds. You can have these with chili. I like it with split pea soup. There's just all kinds of things, ways that we can use them in there. Okay, back up, Matilda. Here, here. There she is. The vet always said she was a lucky kitty. I think I've told the story where we found her when she was hours old in the farm truck and she was abandoned and we we bottle fed her and she turned out just fine. And she's the sweetest cat. She loves, she'll just, she likes to snuggle up with you and everything. So let me put you down. There. Let's see what else we have here. I believe these are some of the new, newest crackers that they have. I haven't tried. I've tried the um, the other crackers. I believe they're the spicier ones. I have some of those. These, these are the easy, the easy cheat crackers. Easy cheesy. It's they're the mild one here. I thought I had ordered some of the bigger ones to put things on, but you know sometimes in ordering, you know, I'm not sure. I'll have to check on that. But anyway, I have plenty of crackers now for chili and soup season, don't I? All right, a couple of 
things. Now, these did not come from the THM website. But a couple other things that I've been using lately, they have the Lilies. Now they have some butterscotch flavored chips. And then I used these the other day for and pumpkin spice flavored chips. I'm going to do a video with these to where there's a recipe for pumpkin bread and it has um, chocolate chips in it. I'm not a real big chocolate and pumpkin fan. A lot of people probably are. But I made some this past week and I put the pumpkin spice bacon chips in it. Uh, it is out of this world. You have a little slice of that and some collagen coffee or some collagen tea. It's a real treat to have that. I just wanted to um, show you with the unboxing. Now I'm pretty sure, I think my order might be wrong, but I'm gonna have to check into Maddie. Um, but something, a little quote I wanna leave you with is I wanna start a series on prayer. I was reminded the other day where someone said, I was they, they were quoting Corey Ten Boom, and they said, is prayer your spare tire or is it your steering wheel? Think about that for a minute. And we're all guilty of using God as a vending machine God or as a, oh, help me now, God. But especially in these times, if we just let him be, prayer be our steering wheel and pray and ask God's will to be done and let him help us with everything, we will be able to, you know, glorify him more in what we do and we'll be able to, our efforts will be, you know, successful and redoubled and he will be a big help to us. I have a um, one of the first videos I'm going to do about prayer. It's a, it, it is a, it's hilarious. It's, it's a little a joke that we, my best friend down in Texas and I have, we talked about, um, but those are coming up and the ones with the grandson. So I hope you'll stay tuned. Please, um, like and subscribe. And we're really trying to grow the channel. So if you could, um, share these videos to people, you know, that might like, you know, they, and they don't have to be people that like to do THM. It can be people that want to hear about God's word. Or, um, you know, just, just some fun videos because I, I notice with myself, a lot of times I start watching these videos about, oh, there's doom and gloom, this and this and this. And, you know, sometimes you just need something light and something that help us to, um, you know, to, to lighten up and to do things that are healthy for ourselves. So, um, until next time, we'll, we'll see you then and just keep safe and take care of yourselves and remember to be a blessing.